Hello everyone and welcome to Quests and Chaos. We're the Chaos Agents and tonight we're playing Dungeons and Dragons. And I am surrounded by these amazing people. Say hello, amazing people. Hello, hello amazing people. <laughs> <laughs> it was obvious and you all took the bait. <laughs> yes, because the bait is tasty. Uh, we, we are... <laughs> we are the Chaos Agents and we are sponsored by Nord Games. Uh, Nord Games makes amazing content and accessories for 5e, Black Flag, and Pathfinder, and probably, well, Orc is Black Flag, so the Orc coming up. Um, they have cool agnostic, system agnostic books, like Spectacular Settlements, Dangerous Destinations, Treacherous Traps, and the Oracle Character and Story Generator. The Character Generator is currently on Kickstarter, so you should go look for it. It's got like three days left or two days left, and Mike. it's in the hundreds of thousands, so thank you guys for that. Holy shit. And uh, that's a little, little inside baseball. That's how they pay their staff, is the Kickstarters. Mm. That's they how pay they their do staff. it. Help them help what kind them. Kind of communist system. <laughs> 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 so, so uh, you know, if they don't make their Kickstarters, they have to lay people off. So, you know. I, I But I didn't say that. I'm not putting words in their mouth. I'm just saying. Didn't anyway, say moving what? on. Uh, sure. You can use our code chaotic20 to get 20% off of anything you want there at nordgamesllc.com forward slash. 3.html. And we get a little kickback from that. It's America. You should be lucky you have a job. <laughs> <laughs> what do you work at? Google? All right. Uh, <laughs> 20,000 huh. people don't. Yeah. Speaking of keeping afloat, um, we have amazing patrons who help keep us afloat. Uh, uh, and uh, they get to award cards from the Deck of Inspiration. <gasps> Um, so, uh, last week, uh, everyone got some cards. Uh, we did. I happened to misplace Warren's, uh, refreshed card after he spent his, so he drew a new one. Ooh. And that is? Go home. <laughs> oh. <laughs> critical strike. Uh, change a regular hit into a critical hit. You must succeed on the attack before using this card. Uh, divine energy pulses through you and releases as you strike your opponent. All right. That is so uh, funny. We have a new card from oh. a Patreon member. Oh. Reoccurring Dream. Hey! Oh, nice. that? Two. Oh, thank you. That. <laughs> uh, that is going to go to the center of the table. Yeah. Go ahead and read out what it is. Researched lore. You know all condition, immunities, resistances, and vulnerabilities of a creature you can see. You also know the average hit points of this creature. Oh, well, that's, that's funny. Ooh. That's on the table. That's a god card. Yeah. You become like Neo for like a second. Yeah. That's, just, like, that's I see incredibly it all. <laughs> useful depending on what you're fighting. Yeah. Yeah. How long does that last to the end of the game, right? So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, of a creature you can see. <laughs> the uh, the flavor text on, the, on that is something about, uh, I once heard a bard tell a tale of a story just like this. Mm-hmm. Um, that's kind of funny. It's cute. Roughly like I was I, I was hanging out in a tavern, and the bar and the bard told the tale. Yep. Uh, and that, if you hit him twenty times, <laughs> you'll die. I mean, most things will die if you hit them twenty times. In fairness, twenty so strokes felled him. You know. You, oh, you just, I'm sorry, I phoned that yeah. one in. Yeah. So uncreative. <laughs> He will fall him from fellatio. Uh, that's true. Anyway, oh, um, that's true. <laughs> fellatio? I've fallen from fellatio. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, yeah. everyone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yes. right? <laughs> Happy Howard Anna Shaw Day to us all. What? Who? No oh, one watches 30 Rock. Okay. No. Oh, I did. Yeah. Damn it. Oh, yeah. man. I'm really sad I didn't Liz get Lemon that one. Liz doesn't acknowledge it because she never has a date. So <sighs> That's fair. Gotcha. Howard Valentine's <laughs> Day is from Parks what and Rec. What do you mean? She's got, the, mm. that's right. she's got the beeper king. Anyway. <laughs> All right. Well, not on Valentine's Day, probably. You mean mayhem? Oh, Valentine's dear. Day is cyclical. Perhaps. Oh, dear. I want to rewatch that uh -oh. show. Uh-oh. Already? Already. If you had 712 Pacific Standard Time. Oh, no. Everybody got their furs on. Oh no! <laughs> the boots with the fur. Oh, that's right. <laughs> the whole club was looking at her. <laughs> Although what I guess none of us are hers at the moment. <laughs> what are you missing? What can I go find for you? Uh, bits. <laughs> Those yeah. are important. Mm, yes. Yeah. Could you just take that a regular tavern sign and just chop that up into wooden chunks? <laughs> no. We'll make uh, that we can, work. We can, we can start with some uh, metal bits. I won't be tossing them though. No, that would hurt. 
We don't want to run the risk of missing. Chris. Yes. Oh, that's, that's so that's... funny. Yes. No. <laughs> just a crack up. All right. Uh, anyway. That would not be funny. We in have. No. Um, from a writing perspective. From Duke Flea. Oh. So we've got some bits. Our tavern upkeep is 55%. You guys are oh, helping wow. us out right there. by. Tav uh, there it is. It's right on the Alondra floor. found him. You played Aaron. yourself. Yeah. Aaron. Aaron. <laughs> I believe in you, brother. Aaron. <laughs> It's so heavy. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do this. With the, all the weight of expectations. <laughs> and you fail. All right. From a Duke League, 1,000 bits. We'll Whoa. start over here with Warren this time. Oh, nice catch. Okay. Bo. Hey. Oof. Thank you We're for that. Snatching. We then have uh, from the Hefner. 1,000 bits, one in one. Woo! One for me. No. One for Matt. Snatched. Oh, so close. One good. for Matt. Snatched. Okay. You, you're, at least right. you're consistent. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> nice catch. Right. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> nice little underhand toss there. From Tamago Tora, uh, 1,000 bits. Thank you, uh, sir. Thank you. Uh, boom. Uh, boom. Uh, boom. Uh, and 1,000 bits from Reoccurring Dream. Hey. Oh, Two yeah, of wow. the players will go back over this way. Wow, that was a curveball. And you caught it. Right. it. Went very wide. Thank I you. Saw what, and I saw what you caught it with. Hey. <laughs> Just Ooh. Ooh. So we're going to be, so we're, so we're gonna be horny on Maine today. Long Got it. <laughs> All right. And uh, I think it's time that we jump into a recap because last session, Iza and Haldor pushed aside their feelings of losing their companions oh, as horrible. they died, disintegrated on the. So they thought. Or Haldor. I, I snorted Barry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Haldor right. snorted Barry up <laughs> dust in his lungs. Uh, Did he get anyway, <laughs> they, they focused uh, on securing any information from the harbor warehouse. Iza found several documents, including a scroll tube in a hidden compartment. Haldor destroyed the giant crab cages, which once held the killers of his friends. Meanwhile, very much alive, Locks, the lock, and Barry, and a giant crab, all appeared in the royal courtyard, surrounded by dead guards. A mad scramble to get away from the crab ensued. Barry took a mighty hit and fell unconscious. Before the trio tricked the crab and escaped out the front gate. Super clever, I liked it. Mm -hmm. You would deal with that later. Um, I thought we dealt with it in no, a side no, quest. And off, we did. off camera. You yeah. did. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. You would. You did. That crab had so much EXP. <laughs> 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 That's Those three went to level seven, and no one else did. Wait, so no? <laughs> they disintegrated, but they were so, alive somewhere else, and then they got away. You completely missed the plot here. How did they do that? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Uh, w uh, that is the uh, the the gift of the gods that Lalak got to uh, teleport around. Is that what happened? I, I sure. Is it, is that no, no, don't do me any favor. Sure. <laughs> Was it the power of no, no, dreams? No, 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 what did you no, want no, to say? No. I, uh, <laughs> elaborate, if you would. I'm just <laughs> reading into the recap. Lalak teleported them back and forth, all within the span of fifteen seconds. <laughs> Was it? Like there was some time like dilation there. Like, yeah. 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 Barry almost died. That crab, like, messed him up. Crabs almost killed me. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Wrecked him almost killed me. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> interrupted the <laughs> recap. All right, no, 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 that's all right. Uh, so, uh, once the group uh, managed to come back together, walking slow motion style uh, as the warehouse burned before them, Maria hurried you guys over into a boat. Uh, Haldor was not very happy about that. Uh, and you guys uh, basically spent an hour evading capture. Basically lie, lying low. There were some conversations held. The tensest hour of Haldor's life. Mm -hmm. He was so unhappy. <laughs> Gripping the bottom of the boat. <laughs> uh, before you did eventually then make your way back to the house. The house. Well, it is our house. <laughs> our house. We we assured that with with a uh, what's his what's his bucket? <laughs> Albie Parker. Yes, him. Uh, 
studied the scrolls that were found at the warehouse and determined Balthazar must be hiding out in an old temple in the mountains north of Ishkild, Halbert's home. Uh, in the Boreal Mountains. Mm -hmm. Got you. Yeah. Aurora Boreal Mountains. Yes. The Boreal. Right. I mean, is it did ask if, uh, if, the, if the lights danced. Mm -hmm. And was, yes. And that took a while to figure out the name of those mountains. <laughs> <laughs> Five minutes before the stream, we're like, oh God, I don't know. What are they called? <laughs> Ogre. We got it. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Ogre Spine Mountains. <laughs> well, uh, there, there will be a story for the After Dark in there. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> that wasn't funny. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Uh, They're laughing at us. Yeah. Right? Well, yeah. <laughs> As per usual. <laughs> <laughs> From there, the group was greeted. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, Albie performed a teleportation circle, and you guys all... Whoosh, went up to about a half an hour outside of Ishkild into a small clearing where there was much argument to be had uh, as uh, Albi drew his teleportation circle to get out of there. There was a very high roll. <laughs> there was a 337 roll on our thing. And I looked what? over, I was at, very confused and I looked over at Matt's happened. tablet and there's just like these <laughs> hand, like massive Holy handful shit. of dice and scattered all over the background. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Just testing something out with my new magical item. <laughs> oh, it looks okay. pretty weak. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so... Uh... You would only true kill everyone in the party. Uh, Laloc blew his whistle. And you guys made your way out of the clearing onto the road, only to be greeted quite uh, quickly by four uh, horsemen. Four men on horseback. Not the four horsemen. <laughs> four <laughs> horsemen. <Go> for <laughs> In armor and helmets. Maybe not men. Maybe. Who knows? Horse people. Yes, no, horse people. That's not it. <laughs> four riders. Yeah. I like horse people. <laughs> four horse people. That, that just smacks of trying to be uh, correct. The four horse people of the mediocrity. <laughs> so we've already. Can set we change the, our party name? We've already set the standard that that whistle is like basically how you call the cops. Right? All right. Any situation. <laughs> Little Lock has at least made that connection in his head. He's like, oh, okay. Yep. Could have used this for the crab. <laughs> The luck has its own rape. <laughs> he does. Yeah. He does. <laughs> <laughs> that took I'm me a good. second to actually hear what you had said. <laughs> I see what you whispered. I tried not yeah. to say it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like tempted to say the same thing and I went, no, cop whistle. There you go. Cop whistle, you know. <laughs> sure. Anyway. I did. That's what I'm saying. Um, <laughs> one of the riders recognized Haldor. Uh, and uh, quickly dismounted and... Uh, gave Naldor a, show, a sign of respect hmm. and offered to lead you back, to escort you back in to the city of Ishkild. And that is where we are going to pick up this evening, uh, riding, you're just outside the gates. Is there anything anyone wants to do before you enter the fortress village of Ishkild? All right. I, I want to cast Mage Armor. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, a good. Name. All right. I'd like to go to a brothel. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and do Mage Armor because it lasts eight hours, right. yeah. and I, I, I don't, I don't want to deal with it. For everybody? No. <laughs> Please. <It's> mine. <laughs> hmm. um, just for cinematic purposes, while everybody's walking, Lilac is trying to converse with the horses. Okay. Yeah. Did Lilac turn into a horse? No. Oh. So are you ritual casting? Nope. You're just trying to talk. I'm just talking to the horses. No, no, go, go ahead. Ritual cast <laughs> with animals. You got Again. it. I got yeah, it covered for you. Don't worry. You've, you've, uh, Albie said you were about a half hour out. Uh, oh. So you guys are going to be walking for about a half hour before you get there. No, yeah. I'm just talking oh, to the horses. Okay, all right. Uh, uh, I can cast it. Go he's, on, go he's the ritual guy. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, okay, no, I forgot the math doesn't break even. Because I really would like to cast Speak with Animals for 10 minutes. And then that lasts for 10 minutes. And then during that 10 minutes, I cast Beast Sense so I can see through a creature's eyes. <laughs> but that lasts for one minute. And it, so it, that also takes 10 minutes to cast. So it's like, 
just erasing it. I'm never gonna, <laughs> I'm never gonna combine those two in any scenario. So that's uh, the numbers not, are, don't, aren't adding up. <laughs> Do you talk to the horses after you cast? Speak with animals. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I could do that, yeah. That makes sense. Someone do it, because we have to hear Thomas's Ye voice. First. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't. I We've heard it. it. <laughs> I'm, down to, I'm down for a uh, repeat, of All course. Right. <laughs> oh. I will do speak with animals. Okay. And I'm going to talk to that horse. I'm going to talk to the horse of the lead guy, actually. The one of, of the horse people. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, you kind of... So, the, the lock would be kind of out in walking side by side with, with uh, the horses, trying to talk to them? Yes. All right, and Barry, you come up. Um, you hear Laloc talking to the horses and in common, or whatever language you choose. Horse? I am neighing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sweet, I was really hoping. Are you neighing? Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Um, <laughs> give me a nature check. Haldor's friends. <laughs> <laughs> That's an eight. Um, so, uh, Laloc is talking gibberish in horse. Like, okay. it is... <laughs> Dishwasher. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Tax return. Tax <laughs> return. <laughs> Purple. Rutabaga, rutabaga. Rutabaga, rutabaga. Cucumber. <laughs> um, give me an insight check. Okay. We're never going to get inside this. Nope. Page. Nope. <laughs> I tried to make it quick. Okay, it's four. Total. All right. Fluent conversation. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, the, the, the horse is, seems to be uh, ignoring Lala. Uh, oh. So do I still have, okay, so I, this is the after the 10 minutes I cast Speak with Animals. Yes. Or would you ritual. like to actually speak with the animals? Pretty much, yeah. What would you're you gonna, say? I'm going to neigh at him and also <laughs> neigh at the horse and be like, listen, you're much more interesting than your rider. I don't, I don't really, I don't really care for that guy. But you do not care for your writer. Johnson. Yeah, his name's Johnson. Of course, I don't care about him. I mean, it's Johnson to most people, but I call him Johnson. That's a little, <laughs> that's a little more exciting. Uh, but also, it's like <laughs> yeah. It's, I mean, <laughs> you know, what is what is with your strange dragon friend? Hey. <laughs> Does he have mental problems? <laughs> <laughs> Went into duck. I, I love it. At this point, Laloc is basically copying everything he does, so it's like an echo. Yeah. I <laughs> think that this is a hilarious cinematic. This writer is sitting there while you're right yeah. here yeah. talking to his side. <laughs> you're talking to the other one there. Man. Yeah. I do look at that writer occasionally, and I immediately go right back to the horse. <laughs> when I see him look at the writer, I also look at the writer and go back to the horse. <laughs> <laughs> what is this gonna do to this guy's self-esteem? <laughs> the writer. Uh, but anyway, I'm, I am gonna tell the horse in horse, uh, listen, he's pretty naive. You could probably manipulate him, let's be real. But he's got a heart of gold. Give him the time of day. You, you know nothing about Johnson. I, well, I don't, he doesn't really interest me to learn more about Janssen. But I can tell you now, I trust that dragon more. You're hearing the same thing on the other side. Maybe in broken horse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your friend must stop. Really? Oh? Yes. It is it's confusing. Oh. Oh, okay. I'm gonna look over oh, a lot. Okay. <laughs> well, it's just, it's like an echo. Yeah, basically. It's, yes, it is. <laughs> yes. As you see his ears like, <laughs> I'm going to neigh like, at Laloc then. <laughs> I neigh back. Like, okay, cool. Like, we understand each other right now, right? As we're speaking horse. I'm just, yeah. you neighed at me, I neighed at you. <laughs> I love that this is like immediately after, I am the son of yeah. 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 Here's my family sword. Yeah. Escort us. <laughs> so, uh, me, Johnson. I'm going to talk to your pet. <laughs> we have seen the glory of I have trod many an enemy, as has Janssen. Janssen has defeated legions. He's formidable. I'm telling you right now, we're about to we're save We're about all. to save a whole <laughs> lot more. Lot more. I, then. Then. I really <laughs> tried I really to stop him. I really tried to stop him. Uh, I, can't, I can't do I it. I can't do it. 
Uh, you hear um, the horse just turns and goes, uh, I, need, I need your names. Nora, bite that one. As the horse is going, as the horse next to you is going to take an attack on you. <laughs> <Really? laughs> initiative on horses. <laughs> it wouldn't be a first. It's true. This is not, I, this is I, not I the strangest that. circumstance no, with I'm horses sure. on chaos agents. <laughs> I, I was talking to this horse first. Yeah. I was trying to help you. I was your wingman for this horse. No one's I, I need but to not to... in that way. Okay. <laughs> not a sea Nobody horse. Like, I can't see. Okay. I need, I, I, need a, I need a war horse. I should probably tell you a war okay. horse instead of just horse. Uh, <laughs> all right. That is a wow. Well, they don't list a bite attack, so I'm gonna have to make it up. <laughs> Do I look up donkey for the bite attack? Yeah, because if you D &D. kick him, that's gonna be a good chunk of health. Actually, uh, that is going to be a uh, 18 to hit. That hits. Oh my god! Um, as this, it is a war horse. As this, um, um, uh, this horse is not. Uh, it bites you, but it doesn't like. It essentially is like. Just the nip. I, your I, attention? I could. Mm -hmm. And then, so it does no damage. Okay. But it's just like, it's like, as you're kind of like neighing along, ah! bites onto your hand. Hey, what the hell? What? Tell your friend, we're almost there. This is a village of honor and respect. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to befriend you. <laughs> and I'm going to go over to, to the lock and just put an arm around him. What'd you say to the horse? Nothing. <laughs> well... well I really couldn't say anything clearly. I'm going to be real with you. Uh, what did I say to the horse? Everything I said in echo to that yeah, horse. Yeah, but... We're going to work on your your person-to-person -person skill. Actually, your person-to-horse skills. We're going to work on that. And then we're going to work on... I don't understand why you said something and I got bit. <laughs> she really didn't like surround sound. <laughs> Was it she? <laughs> and I you didn't even ask the name. I checked. Yeah. Yeah, that was funny. Oh, shit. The horse's name. <laughs> So uh, the other horse's the, name is Nora. Yes. The, so the, the 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 rider and Nora actually uh, kick it up a bit, and they mm. uh, ride ahead. It's okay. We'll we'll see you in a bit. You uh, needed better I'm equus fine. kit, e etiquette, equus kit. <laughs> <laughs> I tried it. It didn't work. It's okay. It was a brave attempt. Let Should not have asked. Do you want to do anything yeah, before no, we got inside? Right. It is your fault. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so. Uh, Ryder then went ahead uh, because of that. Nope. So um, as as we're going up, because Haldor, this this area is very remote, right? Mm -hmm. um, in in the north, and Haldor is um, understands that sometimes culture shock can be a thing here, hmm. right? Um, his mother being who she is. Um, so he would, you know, just kind of say, um, guys, get, get, come here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the people here could seem rude or... The horses, too. <laughs> they're just uh, very straightforward. Very um, blunt. Ah. Uh, okay. Oh, well, that's fine. Yes. I like cutting to the chase. It's not meant to be rude. Yes, this is this is how we communicate. So, uh, that's the first one. Uh, number two, um, our society, basically, um, it's all about, you know, honor. And uh, it's like, it's like a currency here. Oh my, oh. We're going to be rich! I, I hope so. I mean, I already am rich. Yes, you are. Monetarily or in honor? In honor. Mm. Okay. And also my dad is very rich. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, there we have it. <laughs> and um, do not draw a weapon mm. unless you are ready for that fight. And you are ready for your life to end. What are you looking at me Locks for? looks directly at Barry. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking at me? Out of the yeah. way of that look. <laughs> what are you looking at me for? I've literally missed every important fight. <laughs> no, but your it's axe true. does tend to come out a lot more often than... I mean, you never hit anything with it, but you definitely bring it out I a lot. I would like to correct that. 
And first of all, it just comes to my hand. He hit that beholder with it. Did he? Yes. So... <laughs> I did? <laughs> Put your axe down, son. Oh, sorry. It, it just, it likes my palm. It goes to it. So you're saying I should I, I look, look, look at the writer like, how old is this guy? <laughs> Just the so, <laughs> I'm the same age you are. <laughs> <laughs> so I shouldn't show anybody this? And he pulls out the sword he should show. Yeah, as long as you don't draw it. Okay. I fun. will wait for your cue to, to do anything with my weapon. And he hips around the shield. But this is fine, right? Yes. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Suits you. What's the most honorable profession in your, in this? And we'll gesture to the yeah. uh, growing castle walls, yeah. I'm assuming it's not strippers. <laughs> Maybe that shouldn't be a part of the conversation. Hey, there's lots of honor to be had there. I mean, no, no, yes, there is. There right. is. There, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, honor and there glory. Is. If you'd like some recommendations. Okay. <laughs> you have my attention. <laughs> um, sorry, get my notes. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to put you on the spot. You will treat our women with respect, and our men. Y yes. Okay. We, I mean, just kind of look at. Do you get? How, to... how close is this person to our personal conversation? Yeah. Well, pretty close. Oh, I thought I leaned back <clears throat> when you. Well, no, they went ahead. Yeah, I didn't. Scroll. One oh, rider went ahead. Uh, they had really good hearing in Ishkel. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So the one rider riding Nora went ahead. It's actually easier to hear when it's cold. Fun fact. I guess um, the most honorable profession is being king. Oh, well, okay. And then stripper. Um, I think it's um, it's subjective. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> what? I was. Oh, he knew that word. I was. I was in the military here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There is much honor there. There is honor in death. Here, in battle. Mm. Mm. And uh, my family thinks I'm dead. Yes. How, how much honor is there in returning from death? It's kind of the reverse effect. Oh. I think. I hope not. But I'm doing it nonetheless. I must be brave. I must be courageous. And that is its own honor. Mm-hmm. I respect it. Lock looks over to the writer and sees <laughs> if the writer has overheard that. Uh, you you gather yes. Lock leans into Haldor. He's like, so should we preface this to that one, or because they seem to be in our entire conversation? How should we? You're there. What is your name? Janssen. Janssen. There's two of them. <laughs> I whisper that. <laughs> <laughs> Janssen and his horse, who is unnamed because you did not ask, ask the name. Um, <laughs> is, has been with you the whole time. He is the leader of this group. Okay. Uh, whatever rider was on Nora went ahead. There are two others that are here as well. Okay, I so there are three riders and horses with you. Okay, I switched them up. Gotcha. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why don't you be an advanced escort and take your men away from our conversation? Please. Very well. Oh, yeah. I mean, Haldor dropped that um, he's a lord here last time as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, he, he is about to go off but he does kind of, he lets the other two go ahead. Uh, well, uh, oh. there, there was a great memorial service for you. It, uh, there was a lot of currency at the time, mm. just so you are aware. Well, I seem to have served my father in death, finally. Getting him the glory he deserves. You wear... 
armor you did not leave with. You are correct. I have been called to a higher purpose. I am chosen of Eir, God of life. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. We will go ahead. Thank you, Janssen. At some point on this journey, uh, Locks and seeing kind of Haldor's, I'm assuming visible kind of hesitant nature mm-hmm. and these nay, our neighing party members, uh, <laughs> will grab Izza and kind of walk towards, because I think now a couple of the riders have gone off, and just wants to kind of hype up Haldor a little bit. So speaking louder than normal, will be like, wow, it's kind of awesome that we're going back to Haldor's hometown, especially after he, and then do a laundry list of accomplishments that Haldor has done. Aww. Killing the, the thing where we first saw each other, how well endowed he is, how he <laughs> saved, he, he defeated a beholder on his own. You know, ela- like elaborating. Oh my God. Just kind of like elaborating <laughs> these Don't stories. forget the Otiug. Because yeah, <laughs> but just like continue, you know, like continuing to hype up. Mm-hmm. And I'm assuming, like, I don't know if Izzy's picking up on it, but like, like, oh, we're trying to, <laughs> yeah, Izzy... and see if the writers are kind of, yeah. I mean, this is is well, one of the smarter ones in this group. Let's put it. Sure. sure, sure. <laughs> oh, you haven't. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it is not a negative. Let's yeah, put it that yeah. way. <laughs> uh, give me. Um, mm. Both of you can give me persuasion checks. Mm. Is 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 it going to? Uh, I'll join in because yeah. I see I see what Lox is doing and I'm I'm willing to help out. A Twenty six for persuasion. Right. Damn, that's a seventeen for me. Much lower than his insight. So Woo! hook line sinker. All right, nice. Yeah, I, it, it definitely takes Iza a second to catch up with what Lox is doing, but once they realize what's going <laughs> on, it's like, oh yes, of course. And then and then there was, and then they'll join mm-hmm. in on on the laundry list. Yeah, I've been kind of working on this ditty. Uh, Haldor, Haldor, how we adore, Haldor, da da da, you know, or whatever. Just like start singing some kind of. Not a bad rhyme. Uh, yeah, well, it's kind of easy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a hero and more. Oh, oh, a hero and more. You know, mm-hmm. and kind of. Mm-hmm. Just down trying below, to get a little. Down, down yeah. <laughs> you will We're trying go. to get some hype for it because I'm trying to like cheer him up on the way in, but then also hopefully get the the guards to kind of maybe think, oh, hmm. Maybe because it sounds like if honor is the currency, let's try and give him a little give him a credit. Boost. Yeah, a little credit <laughs> boost before getting in. Okay, all right. Uh, and you guys uh, are alone for a while, for about ten minutes before the end of before you reach the gates. Not to undo that inspiration, but I definitely wanted to. Uh, Laloc wants to um, see if anyone would be up for visiting Haldor's memorial to learn about mm. him before he disappeared. Mm. Did they get a, well, I, don't, they, I don't know if they did anything. He said mm. that there was a service on a memorial. I, I would imagine there'd be trinkets and, and stories and, and gifts and uh, things of... I am, I am content with knowing Haldor as he is now. Mm. If there is more that we need to know, then he'll tell us. Yeah, I... That's that's true. I think it's unfortunate that we don't get commemorated enough about while we're that. The lowest of our society are oath breakers. They are lucky if they are not cast out. Your word means everything in each killed. Why is everyone looking at me? (laughs) (laughs) I'm blunt, like just like his people. I swore an oath when I joined the army. That I was there until I died. And then you did. Oath fulfilled. Technically, you fulfilled your oath, and then you were brought back for a higher purpose. As you said. Yes. Technically, you fulfilled your oath. To the letter, in fact. Thank you. Thank you. Your men, on the other hand, 
quick pause. You told everyone about that, right? That they abandoned me? No, uh, I thought they betrayed you. They're like they left you for dead intentionally, yeah. right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So by abandonment. I don't know. That. <laughs> well, abandon. I don't know. I guess I thought it was anyway. He told oh. us. He I don't know us. that I've heard that. I think it was at the very beginning, like way back. He in. told. Was I asleep? No, well, you, you, you I mean, maybe you, in the four you're trying to well, dream. Well, here's, here's the thing. You, you might have been asleep, but you have heard him repeatedly, like, have strong reactions to people okay. leaving him, especially in the middle of battle. Yes. Like, that happened at you with the Beholder oh, fight. Oh, that's, that's right. right. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay. So I won't touch it. Um, thank you. My men, um... My father, he was determined that I would bring him honor. The men who left me were not. There is a reason, I think. It was not in my first brigade that I was leading. It was my second. And I was the sole survivor of the first. You think your father wrote you off? Let those men, told those men to abandon you? No. Uh, oh, no. I don't think. Oh, okay. They left because I got my unit killed. Mm. Oh, gotcha. Yep. Okay. They died, and I could not protect them. But, um, I don't know your customs or much of it, but from your own word, it seems like they must have died honorable deaths. And that is, apparently, in this, in, again, gesturing to the castle, this is the highest form of honor. It is small consolation to their children. I understand. But thank you. So, um, that might come up. Okay. Might. I suspect a great deal of things are going to come up, aren't they? Let's see how it goes. Well? If you're by my side, I... I think I can face it. And try to remember, this is where you came from. It doesn't have to be part of your future. If they can't accept who you are and where you're going now, we can leave. Our mission is past here. You are called to a higher purpose. You are called by a god. I've yet to find it. I've... What is... You have yet to... What? We found out about an enormous plot by a cult to call a demon god. We did beyond what anyone could have imagined. I sure that... Is you. that not a higher purpose to save the entirety of this world? Or at least to bring it to people's attention who can? You just... I don't know. He doesn't speak to me. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. You're right where you're supposed to be. Your strength is, is, is unmatched and no one would, would, would call into question your heroism, but maybe the battle you have to fight is with your own memories. You have to get solace before you you can move on and take up the plight of another. And, and, and you don't want to keep avoiding this. And you want to be just as courageous as you were on the boat. In all things. Not just, not just battle. Um, you know, the talking about stuff. Courage isn't not being afraid. It's being afraid and doing it anyway. Well, this I know. Well then. It is harder to do sometimes. Oh yes, 
Extremely so. If it, if it was easy, everyone would have the, the most tremendous courage. Maybe you can teach, you've, you've taught me so much about being courageous in the battle and, and facing your foes. Now, you know, you can teach me how, how to face an authority figure, a, a father figure, how to go back home. I, I want to learn from you. Well, then what choice do I have? You wouldn't let down your biggest fan, <laughs> right? You are no fan. <laughs> you are brother in arms. Wow. A useful brother in arms. You've really come a long way, Barry. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. You should train a little more, but yes. Okay. Do, do all the horses in Ishkill bite? Um, yep. <laughs> they okay. are horses. Yeah, this place yeah. sucks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, uh, you guys have finally made your way up to the, uh, the massive wooden doors that surround the castle. They are open as there are the four horse people. <laughs> riders. The word is riders. <laughs> Who are dismounted. Uh, the horses are not uh, here at the moment. They've been stabled already. Um, and they uh, look at you guys. Janssen, we sent word ahead. Um, Are you, um, do you want to go there first? I think I want to drink first. <laughs> Very well. You know where the tavern is. Inside? No, no. <laughs> no. This is the son of that person, the king. Right? Is it king? No. No. King. Lord. Lord. There you go. Okay. Jarl. We don't have like a hierarchy. It's Jarl. In my home. Jarl? Jarl. Jarl. Oh, that's the first time that I've heard that one. All right. That doesn't roll off the tongue. Jarl. Haldor. You get us a carriage. He's you Haldor. get us Haldor those then. drinks, those ales, straight to the castle. Nothing less for the sun and the mighty Haldor. <laughs> Barry. <laughs> oh. There is no need, Barry. When the time is right, we will go. A drink at the tavern. All right. Drink with me. <laughs> Don't have to say that twice. Can I ask the vibe? Is it like a, like a normal... Is it like literally people uh, walking around? So uh, it is evening. Um, okay. It is cold out. Mm -hmm. uh, there's not that many people out. Uh, the guards are in thick, heavy furs. Um, you d on the walls, you do see there are many guards. Mm. Um, as you look up, uh, it is definitely <laughs> fortified. It's not quite as a uh, fairy tale land as the Tudor stuff behind you. Oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> but AI is stupid. <clears throat> no. It's <laughs> funny. Uh, but there are people around? Mm -hmm. We'll get into that in the after show, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, so, uh, I mean, th there's torchlight um, in places. It's, it's kind of it's kind of dreary. Mm. Muted colors. So no, no eyes on uh, Haldor when we came through the... From here? Uh, the, uh, so the nearby guards, yeah. Uh -huh. Definitely kind of like... You hear some murmuring, you hear some, like, you know, is that really him? Is it, you know? Mm. Um, give me, every, every, everyone can give me a persuasion check. Persuasion. Persuasion. persuasion? Perception check. There you go. <laughs> Natural 20. <laughs> Woo! Damn. Uh, 11. Uh, 16. 18. 17. 15, right. 14. I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone, but, the so, uh, <laughs> so there are, so you, you hear kind of the gamut. Um, it, is, it is obvious nobody knows what happened. Mm -hmm. um, you do hear the, like, I thought, you know, he was, you know, he was murdered, you know, charging into battle. Um, you know, you hear, I heard that he abandoned, you know, his men 
abandon him. Mm. Actually, I, I did want to talk to you about yeah. that one. I'm okay. sorry. I, I wanted that to be like those men, because of the honor, <laughs> would abandoning him would have been extremely okay. dishonorable. Yeah, yeah. So they would have had a story. They would have lied about that. Uh, yes. Oh. Yeah. So absolutely. Yeah. Um, so you get the... A little yeah, yeah, yeah. stinkers. Yeah. So it's... Damn it! it, it <laughs> so I will say this. It is all honor. Mm. Right. Everybody, you know, it was the Haldor charged off into battle by himself to save everyone. Mm -hmm. I think they recognize you. Mm. Without any of the mm -hmm. <laughs> Wow. Stop, stop waving You're, at them. <laughs> he's a celebrity. Why don't we go have a drink? That's a good idea. Think it'll be on the house? Come this way. I am no celebrity. My father is the celebrity. Well, judging from what we, okay. Um, can you point it out first? Yeah. It's it's not far. Yeah, it's it's. Uh, Lox is going to shift into some like the vibe of the people here and head in first, and we're going to start some rumors. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Good bar. Right. Good right. bar. So, oh my god. So, so, like, Let me go first. so as as you know, kind of everyone is is having that conversation at the at the gate. You peel off, and and head in. Mm -hmm. uh, depending on how long I have, we'll turn into a uh, a young maybe Lox's young kid form, just going to be like, oh my gosh, I think I just saw Haldor. Uh, Haldor's here. Oh my gosh, I heard uh, from one of the guards that we were just gossiping with, okay. that he did laundry list. Like, maybe just a few. Uh, okay. Okay. He, he destroyed a beholder with his bare hands. I can't believe he's back. Maybe he's back for honor. Then turn into a woman and be like, oh my god, did you see who just came back into town? <laughs> you know, and then like kind of pick up on his, and uh, it, his well-endowed is written on his actual armor now, I hear. <laughs> you, you know, like, uh, and then be like, an, uh, like a grizzled old man that's like, ah, oh, that hell do I thought I didn't care for him, but you know, if he's come back into town, so are you are you flipping like, between people? Yeah, no, I literally will be running around. Even if they come he's in, genie of the lamp. Exactly, I'm genie and prince allying right now. All right, so, exactly. So you, <laughs> so you, that's a very apt description. <laughs> he's so, the gallop in so horns. After, after kind of going around, um, uh, even if they come in, while well, I want to keep doing that until okay. they before walk. he even comes in. Mm -hmm. Um, in you tell me what. What form you would like to be in when something happens? When something happens? Uh, what you pick, one of the three that I just did. An, a grizzly, a grumpy old man, a sexy woman, or a little kid. <laughs> Should I roll? Such here, I'll come up with another there. one here. And a, a fourth uh, one for a and a, and, a, and a ranger type uh, rogue. <laughs> all right, all right. Hood, yeah, up, all hood right. up in the corner smoking that's the pipe. A, that's a one. So you're the kid. I'm a kid. All right. Damn shit. So you're a kid. <laughs> Uh, they, a, there is somebody sitting at a table, um, tall, muscular, um, furs, in armor. Uh, not in armor, I don't know. Uh, no, and definitely nobility clothes. Mm. Um, roughly 10 years older than Haldor. Mm. Does he just, look, <laughs> does he look does like Haldor? Does it look like Haldor? Nah. Because if it's his brother, I know what he looks like. Because Haldor, we had a moment. Oh, I did change yes. into did change Einar. Into his uh, yeah. You see, uh, Einar actually stands up and goes. Well, okay. Now, if I saw Haldor's brother, I might not. Is... <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> You're in there. No, good, good, good. Uh, why do you speak of my father this way? Your father? What? I'm not talking of your father. Wait. Uh, oh, sorry. What other Haldor would you be speaking of? Your brother. You are speaking of... Not of the dead. Uh, I, I, I heard from the, one of the guards that brought... Uh, was Nora said out loud? No, Nora's the horse. <laughs> oh, oh sure. Oh, please say Nora. <laughs> <laughs> and the horse Yonsen. said Nora. <laughs> okay, I was like, okay, if Nora wasn't said out loud, good, we're covered. Um, no, I heard from one of the guards, or the guards told someone that the Halpers came in, and he, he defeated a beholder with his bare hands, and and, and, and he, he, he d did this amazing thing back out in uh, this town way far out. I don't know, I just was hearing all this. That, that runt his back. As he stands up and he's like, he is striding towards the door. 
as fast as he can, just Sitcom. as you guys reach <laughs> the doorway. Who's the first one? At the Who's door? the first one? <laughs> Who's the first one? Oh! I feel like right. Haldor. Yep. You Good are switch. about to push, th- so you, you, you get to the doorway, have that slight beat, and the door swings open, and Einar is right in front of you. <laughs> so, fuck. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? You? What? You? What? Einar, you, you are dead. I was. What do you mean you were? And his hand goes to his swords. Do not draw your sword in front of me. Dishonor. You would not appreciate the consequences. I, you have grown. I am Haldor. Um, he's, so he, uh, his, his check on you was pretty, pretty clear. He grasps what's happening. You. You have changed greatly. I have not changed, brother. No. You... I got away. I was able to live my own life. Be Haldor, not Haldor, Haldor's son. Brother to Einar Jarl's Jarl's heir. My honor is my own. And he's going, uh, no longer so. am I the idiot son. Mm-hmm. S- sit with me. Insight check. <laughs> All right. Okay, insight. <clears throat> 19. Nice. 19. Uh, <laughs> everyone is staring at you, too. Mm-hmm. And he's like, sees an opportunity to get back to his corner table mm-hmm. and avoid the scene. Ple- okay. Please. Please. Sit with me before these Father. are my these are my new brothers. They will sit with us as well. This one's a brother sister. Depending on the day. Ah, uh, Barry. Haldor has a grandfather. He does not need a second. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to daddy anyone. (laughs) (laughs) Well, (laughs) I'm not trying to daddy anyone or granddaddy anyone. Lox is now the sexy woman. (laughs) (laughs) What'd you say? (laughs) Come. Yes. Sit. Scarlet drinks mead. Mm -hmm. Ah. (laughs) <laughs> As he mounts two for me when Iza isn't looking. <laughs> so uh, he leads you over to a, it. It is a large table in the corner. Um, it is in a position of power in this place. Mm, mm. Um, it is clearly a defensive position mm. and also has a clear sight lines to everything. Uh, there are a couple of pillars that provide, would provide, in the event of a, an attack, some sort of strategic advantage to being in this place. Um, it is large enough for all of you to squeeze in. Somebody, two of you, though, have to be, have your backs to the outside. Locke has his back to the door. And I can't approach the table because I'm this kid. <laughs> not, no, I'm serious. All right. I'm not Locke's right so, now, so. Uh, so everyone else... Uh, <laughs> Get out of here, kid! And you know, oh, if you do, you do that. Can, actually, can you even know? No, I will say that. I'll, he doesn't even know. Yeah. Oh, I Would wouldn't you know? know. Doesn't. Oh yeah, uh, yeah never mind. He, he looks like kid locks, doesn't he? No, I don't. Oh, different, different kid. Different kid. Yeah. Random. Kid. I wouldn't know. Ah. Yeah, I can't say it. 
I love it. It's gonna be a funny joke, but I couldn't say it. Sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. I ruin everything. Get I just want to. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say it. Does the local uh, orphanage employ barmaids here as well? Uh, no. You'll see, like Locke's kind of <laughs> winking at you. It's like, no, no, this isn't gonna work. He knows it's not gonna work. He'll just be like, uh, no, 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 I'm gonna go, and then he's gonna have, head out the door. Locke will head out the door. Bye. While they're heading to the table, he knows what's happening. That was a strange kid. He was staring at us. <laughs> And is it just ro just rolls their eyes but doesn't bother? <laughs> came in telling stories of the heroics of Haldor. Oh, there we you go. see? <laughs> <laughs> you know this kid? No, no, no. All right. Everyone knows the heroic tales of Haldor. Yeah. Especially the young. Gives them aspirations. Well, I'm not surprised that his deeds have traveled this far. I'm Olak. <laughs> Hello, Olak. I am Einar. Nice to meet you. Olak is okay. of Waterdeep. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Waterdeep. I've been I've been traveling with the, your brother. He is through the gates of Thoria. Yes. I expected as much. I have heard of Waterdeep. Have you been there? I have not. I have sent uh, correspondences. Oh, okay. Well, when your correspondence gets back, I'd, I'd love to get updates from them with, the, you know, what's changed and how the city's done and carried on since I've left. But in the time that I've been gone, I've been traveling with your brother. He's done amazing things, things that I've only read about in books. You, you must be very proud. We have much to discuss. Where I have been, uh, why I left, and why I've returned. At this point, everyone is seated. Um, and Einar, are you sure you want to speak with your with father. I don't see as I have much choice. I never have. None of us did. Your friends, brothers as you call them, speak highly of you, almost oddly. I of you. Well, Ulak does not lie. And I have saved a queen. He did! And was knighted by said queen. When? Last we were week! There. <laughs> no, it was not. I walked in immediately after and was like, I'm trying to show you guys something I can do. <laughs> Uh, right, right, right before you arrived, the queen knighted him. No one told me that. We it took so long to get here. All At right. At some point during the conversation, Lox will come back in a little bit older. I'll say nineteen, but looks just like Lox, um, and head towards Haldor and give him like a bow salute or something. Be like, "Sir, I apologize. It took me so long to get back, but I am here for you, at your disposal." And then stand behind, beside him, behind him. Why are you? Make room. <laughs> pushes oh. over, squeezes in. This is Lux. Hey, oh, oh, hello. Sits him down. Uh, Einar. Lovely to meet you, Einar. I Can I see the family resemblance? Haldor's half brother. Half of the resemblance. Yep. Um, <laughs> and to complete the introductions, I'm Isa Sanjavese. Of? Of Mage Haven. Mage Haven. She says just as, he says just as you say it. <gasps> You know the name. I do. Mage Haven, I know that name. No, Sanjo Vesa. Oh, it's a hard one for me to pronounce. Mm. Yes, I have been diplomatic missions. Mm. Knighted. Knighted by the Queen of Thoria. I think that's the name of it. Mm-hmm. 
for services rendered, such as keeping safe the city. You, Haldor, knighted. You have changed. I think Or maybe Or maybe I've changed. You changed? No. no. <sighs> R- We have to tell Runa as soon as possible. Runa? Where? Why? What? Shh. She is the only one who kept hope. Your sister? Yes, my younger sister. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank God. Have? Fall. Oh. Wow, well, yeah, we should totally go say hi to her. Well, sounds, like, sounds like she'll be happy to see you. Yeah. Maybe. What happened out there? We've heard many things. In the mountains. You take me to father, I will tell you then. If you have truly changed, you will help me with him. I am sorry, Haldor, for how I have treated you. I... I am sorry. I... Why? What did I do, Einar? What, what did I do to deserve what you and Arnar put me through? I don't know why Dad didn't name you Haldor. I don't know why he named me after himself as he was named after his father. That is a question I have wanted to know the answer to. I have nothing to do with it. It wasn't my fault. I was a kid. So were we. It was It was not easy losing a mother and having her be replaced in new children, so-called brothers and sisters. We, you did not deserve what we did to you, but we were stupid. That's what I was saying the whole time. After you call me stupid. I may not know how to write. I may not know how to read. I may not know how to count higher than this many. (laughs) But I have my honor. 
and I have earned it. I did not leave you. I will explain later. You know, he's heard by now. I look over at Lilac. Can I give him a nod, look over at my friends here on, on around the table? Give each a nod. So, you know how he hates it when he's kept waiting. So we should finish our beers and our meads. Uh, mine's is already gone. I, I would really appreciate <laughs> you calling, what was her name, Scarlet something? Yeah. Scarlet? I have the second one. <laughs> and I reach over. Lalak sniffs his mead. <laughs> Thank and he you. puts it down and he shoves it in the direction of Halvor. <laughs> this is much better than that lowland stuff. That worked out. <laughs> oh, this is delicious. <laughs> Dangerous, <laughs> dangerously so. Did I make tea here? It's okay. We have water. I love water. Cold. The colder the better. Yeah. I was eating snow, but. You know, water's better. Don't eat, eat the yellow one. You were eating snow? Yeah. No, I found that out too. Don't do that. He's right. Barry freezes and just stares at them both. <laughs> the snow is, is rainwater um, consolidated into it's basically ice. I'm mainly frozen about the yellow snow. Oh. You see discolored snow, you don't get curious? You don't smell the urine immediately upon putting that thing in your face? Well, now, hindsight is a bifocal clarity, okay? I don't think that was a full sentence. No, I understood it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. That does not carry much weight. <laughs> I mean, it does. And I look at the brother. <laughs> this is uh, rather typical. It... I assume you know that, though. You've lived up here for a while. You <laughs> figure it out. Well, it, my experience was yeah. not voluntary. Oh. 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 Don't eat the red snow either. Unless oh. you have earned it. Oh, that's a dark custom. Oh, it's one of these places. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Looks over at Barrett. Shrugs. It's blood. Oh, oh. <laughs> Where is Runa now? The door busts open. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> a uh, twenty-one-year-old human female uh, runs in beeline straight to the table. <clears throat> um. It's, it's, you're, you're, you're alive. My she's just, just like, yeah, she get, you know, tries to get, get out of the way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And Barrel hugs you. And he's like, oh, uh, Rudolph! <laughs> and I swing her around as I pick her up. <laughs> I, I knew it. I, they didn't believe me. Nobody believed me, but I knew it was, I knew it could be true. You really thought I was alive? Of course. They found no body. Just the stories of... <clears throat> and she clearly clamps down and does not say anything more. Mm -hmm. Just stories. I didn't believe it. I very nearly died, Runa. In fact, I did. We will talk. I must tell Father. I must tell you all. There is a reason I have come back. Father's waiting. If you, if you are ready. Or as ready as you can be. You can grab another ale for the road. 
family gatherings aren't always easy. <laughs> well, there's plenty to drink at the house. Mm. I wouldn't know. <laughs> then let us. It is time. At your word, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Why are you guys all being so formal? Why are you acting weird? The whole situation is rather weird, you have to admit. Well, maybe for you. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm a lowlander merchant's child. Yes, of course this is different <laughs> for me. It's weird for me. Yeah, see? <laughs> Well, I love it here. The climate is perfect. This is great. Oh. Want to make snow angels? Like, well, I'm no? glad someone's enjoying this. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. So Hellor gets up and, you know, motions for everyone. I will lead us there. Lead on. And uh, goes to head out the door. All right. Are you coming, brother? He finishes his last swig. Admit it, you're too curious to stay behind. Oh, I have to be there. Uh, <laughs> can I roll for something? I don't trust, I, I'm sorry, Is I know you're having an emotional please, moment, please. but I really don't trust. Do it, do it, do it. I don't yeah. trust him or Runa. <laughs> Go ahead, okay. protect Haldor. <laughs> oh, <my> <laughs> oh, <laughs> what am I rolling? Never mind. Is that a one yeah. sight? Mm, yep, nope, I don't know anything. What uh, would you roll? Four. Uh, Four? He's up to something. Say, no, I, not, I not. Okay, so on nobody, the way, nobody could be that sincere. Yeah, I was like, what the heck? This is a 180 from all this crap he was telling. He was talking for 30 minutes on the way in here, and then all of a sudden he's like, oh yeah, I forgive you. Sorry, I know you have in a moment. That implication. I'm not saying this out loud. That implication oh, okay. though is like <laughs> so low that I feel like can we pick it up through a natural insight or a passive insight or something? There are passive insights. I would, are, that is I a would, stat. Can I, I use would that be instead? like, <laughs> <laughs> it was, he, he rolled a four and you made it. That's an action. So come on. <laughs> it did, even, did he make it? Even because if you're not going to do it. Deceiving him. Thomas, even if there's not a passive okay. insight, on the way there, Lox is specifically going to each one of the, the team and going to say, I really don't, I think something's up. And then some, just be on your guard, be on your guard, be what? on your guard. I don't. I, mean, I don't know how, if they're ahead of us or what they're doing, but it's just like, look. I would say Lalak is slightly behind because he's kind of like yeah. kicking snow as he walks, kind of like lost in the thing. But it's like, what are you, I just this gotta, is a family reunion. You no, know, I just got to say, I don't, I, do you remember how, how poor Haldor has been talking about how, how awful this moment is going to be? It just seemed a little too, um, like gesturing, like wrapping it up in a bow kind mm -hmm. of thing. Like it just seems, uh, something seems off and I don't, I can't put my finger on it, but. I've always thought that the threat existed only in his mind and once he gets here, he wouldn't think it was as big a deal as everyone else, but you sense a, a threat? I, I do. How are Haldor, I, I'm blanking on his name, I'm so sorry. Einar. Einar and Runa, how are they walking together right now? Uh, <coughs> Runa is like, Attached, yeah, to hell, and that's and I, I assumed that's what. Um, Einar is he is walking. He would be walking in front. However, Haldor took off mm. quickly, so he's kind of a little bit behind. A little bit behind. I want to, as we're walking, point to a building over there and uh, be like, "Ah, oh, brother, I remember the unsheathed longsword." A lot of good times there. <laughs> hearing mm. he, hearing what Lox is, is saying, I'm going to like quicken the pace a little bit to not walk like right next to, to Einar, but be within proximity to you okay. know be 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 within within the group. Give me an insight check. Yeah. <laughs> Don't make it a fool. <laughs> I'll, I'll try. Uh, that's a dirty twenty. Love it. Um there is a person here that is unable to mask confusion. Hmm. Like, you you know that this type of person would be stoic and un, 
unreadable. Oh. And, and, and he's told and me that, that, person, he, that he's been on diplomatic adventures mm-hmm. before. He discombobulated might be too strong of a word, but you definitely get the sense that that this in this person is suddenly dealing with more than just his brother's alive. Or his brother's alive and he's been an awful human being his entire life. It's more than that. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, it's it's definitely not a stoic like I you know, I hate this kid and I'm always and I'm going to I'm about to kill him. It's mm-hmm. not that. Okay. I will I'll keep pace with with him as best as I can. I, th- I think I'm I think I'm probably about the same height as him if he was looking up at Haldor. He was looking up at Barry. Oh, Barry's no, you're right. <laughs> <That's> right. <laughs> he's 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 probably you know, I think that he was surprised to see Haldor at 6'6". Six, six. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, interesting. So, was... Well, it was three years, but when I went off to the military, you know what I mean? I was in that... You weren't there the whole... Years. You you didn't come yeah. back off him. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Mm. Um, and, you know, he is a diplomat. Well, he is, True. you know, ripped. He the is villain. not a... Yeah. He is not, you know, Barry or Haldor. He is not an out-there, everyday okay. fighter. Sure. Training every morning. <sighs> um, you know, he obviously can. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, I'll, I'll I'll keep pace with with him as Bruna and Haldor are a little ahead. Did Lox? You whispered that to the every, rest of the party. Everyone, yeah. Okay, then I'm, Barry's gonna come up behind Lox and just kind of pat on the back. Listen, if you didn't and whisper to Lox, mm. listen, if you didn't expect. And way down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, huh? I can't get back. I am a little no, but it, it, just to, I am still ni- I'm 19 and I'm a little bit taller than <laughs> I normally am. Okay. Just okay. I'm not. <laughs> Four I, and ten, but yeah, I will. That? It will take like a second for me to get down there and just listen. If you didn't expect something bad to come from this dinner, even if it's just a little awkward tension, I, I understand. I, I can't put my finger on it. I just, I, I'm glad we're here for Haldor. I like that you're thinking on edge. Well, prepare for the worst, hope for the best. I like that. Pat on the back. It's all we can do right now. Mm-hmm. A lot of padding on the back. Oh. It's the funnest way to punctuate a sentence. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> this is why Issa stays out of arm range of you, of you tall, strong people. <laughs> I'm, I'm with Runa as we're, we're walking and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and just kind of like, and how is mother? <sighs> oh, no. she, I mean, she's, she's dealing with a lot. Um, you know, I mean, uh, Lothorian and everything. And. Uh. You know the the undead, you know, in the uh, tradeway is is, is oh, providing no. you know <laughs> issues that we have to deal uh, with. We have run into them <clears throat> ourselves, Runa. Have you? No. Oh yes, we dispatched them with ease. <laughs> they could not stand the might of the full pickle. What? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Barry just like is doing the cutting motion across his throat, like, no, 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 no. Well, what is, you what? You gave the undead the full pick? <laughs> Did we ever? <laughs> we, we, even, oh, boy. we even showed it to the queen. I'm, what? I'm, which, what? You could say we had a bone to pick with them. <gasps> Silence, everybody. Prepare for the worst. <laughs> Prepare for the worst, hope for the best. <laughs> oh, boy. What, what, what? What do you mean? What, what do you mean, the queen? The queen really loved the performance of the, the full pickle. Which queen? The, the, the queen who loved our performance and our skill so much that she knighted. We mean the adventuring group. Yeah. Huh? What? Yeah. This is my adventuring group, the full pickle. Oh, you guys named yourself the full pickle. No, we, we were... What's more embarrassing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know. We were named it by the people of the town we saved. Haldor main, mainly saved Wink. Do you actually say Wink out He did openly say Wink. Why I'm would very people... I mean, I, I mean... I, okay, I don't... Worry no. not, I will tell you the tale. Yes. Oh my god, no, okay. Yet. <laughs> uh, and eventually, you do uh, make your way up uh, some slopes to a large manor overlooking sort of the city. It is not the tallest nor the biggest structure hmm. in here. It is a noble's house. It is formidable. It must have 
16 bedrooms. It is large. And um, if I can talk a little yeah. bit about each guild. Yes. Uh, so, and as you guys are going in there, there's, you know, it's it's large and sprawling, and you um, you notice that it's in a kind of a, a mountain pass as we kind of get up a little higher. Mm. And um, you notice that the city itself, when we get up, and you can see, actually extends into the mountains around it and is built into the mountains. And at that point, you can see the northern bulwark, which is the gate, um, the great gate um, north and the gate to the mountain. Mm -hmm. And that is also built all the way across the, into the mountains. That's our destination, correct? Mm -hmm. uh, we're traveling through to get north. Yeah. 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 Okay. As, as we're getting closer to the manor house, I'm keeping half an eye on, on Einar, just getting a, a read of uh, whether he's becoming more anxious as we get closer to the manor house, what shifts of emotion I can pick up as, as we're getting closer to hearing the story and dealing with their father. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean... He doesn't get any, uh, he seems to be to himself. Mm -hmm. He seems to be inward rather than outward. As you guys make it up to the front door, there is uh, your other brother, Arnor. <laughs> hey, Arnor. So the... Missing son returns. Uh, I have returned. It is good to see you alive and well. It is very weird to see you alive. I... I'm getting that a lot today. Einar comes around, snaps out of his thing, and goes right up to Arnor and goes, it is amazing to see our brother alive. As he pushes him to the side and opens the door. As I go past, amazing. <laughs> uh, and, and, and Arnor is like, uh, as he watches sort of all of you um, go in, Einar, uh, 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 Einar! Kind of hurries to catch up. Our Einar goes straight in, hangs a left into the parlor. Mm -hmm. Roaring fires going. Yeah. You know. uh, nice. Neat. Father Haldor has returned alive. As he stands up, this this is an imposing figure. Oh. Um, he is the gray fox of a man um, that you may have seen in my AI-generated stuff earlier. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> for Barry, but uh, <laughs> oh, this, this oh, works guy. just yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking of Discord. Scroll up. Yeah. I got daddy issues. I guess Barry. Sorry. <laughs> oh come I mean, on! The second I see daddy issues. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, so I mean, this is. I mean, this is it's like George Clooney. If George Clooney was um, ripped and a badass, hmm. yeah, hmm. he's not. Ooh. He's not. No, no. Well, yeah. I like him. <laughs> Good looking man. Oh, yeah. Like a, a graying Chris Hemsworth type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. that's yeah. better. Ooh. Yeah. That's <laughs> the guy who plays Superman, the, Henry Cavill. Henry yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, as 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 like Geralt. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, long. Uh, he actually has trimmed hair. Mm. Um, so like an ominous but a man. big beard. Uh, nope. Okay. <laughs> like Fat Thor, but not fat. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the was it? <laughs> so normal Chris Hemsworth. Um, <laughs> Just <laughs> yeah, sorry. I mean, I'm gonna push you through it. Uh, and he's just, he and Einar are just staring at each other. Your father doesn't look at you Ooh. yet. Mm -hmm. He 
breaks eye contact and looks over. Why have you returned? We seek a quarry in the mountains. evil person seeking refuge there. We have chased him from Port Thoria. Here he is planning to summon a demon, right? Uh, a god? A god. I, thought. I don't believe in A gods. demon god. But yes. I am here by coincidence. And necessity, ne- nicety, necessary, accessory. Stick to the words you ha- you know, for sure. Thanks, Barry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you don't believe in God? Any of them. Well, it's not that I don't believe them. I've clearly seen some of them bring some people back to the life. Well, not personally. But if he's, I don't think he's lying. He doesn't seem like he is smart enough to lie. I mean, no offense, not in... My point is, I don't trust the guy. Hmm? (laughs) You know my boy well. (laughs) (laughs) No, no, I don't. I mean, well, I'm not trying to give him a complex right here. I'm, I'm, I'm a working partner of his. Barry, if you shut up, we've been training together. Barry and I. He is a barbarian of. uh, He's a mountain barbarian, I believe. New scale. Maybe. You can show him a feat of strength in the training with the hand job fest. Don't do not. <laughs> um, there is no time now, but that, I will indulge later. Wh- uh, it is quite impressive, but I did learn the name is rather confusing to people. They, they mean arm wrestling. Huh? Do Much you, less exciting. That doesn't make any sense. At, yeah. le- at least without have seen out in public, yes. Your arm is doing a job in that moment. Of course we're going to call it a hand job fest. Yeah. Why, why would we say arm wrestle? I don't know. What, what is wrestling? Barry. Uh, please. <laughs> right. You are just passing through. I am. Um, Happen to be here. I am seeking my glory, my glory. And I have found a great deal of it. Not as much as I would have liked before returning here. But perhaps if I make it back alive from the mountains, I will have enough honor to expunge the black stain on your legacy. That is Haldor. Where are you going? Uh, we have a map, right guys? There's an abandoned temple north of here. There's a map. None go to that temple. We, we are. None go in return. Perhaps not. And you are going there? I am, father. I have been chosen of air. I am no longer Haldor Haldorson. I am Haldor, protector of life, chosen of air. Everyone can give me perception checks, except for Haldor. Ooh, okay. Hell yeah. Mm. Nine. 22. 23. 19. Nice. Okay. Everyone but is it, uh, including Haldor, senior, um, notices just a slight glow around Haldor when he says chosen of air. It's just this. It's not so much that you saw it, that you felt it. It is air that saved me on the battlefield that day. How? I can still feel the cut of the orcish blades as my blood seeped out of me. 
I died an honorable death. But I was chosen. He saved me. He brought me back. I do not know why. But I know that I will protect life and it will bring me great honor as does this city to the greater world. My men left me. They left me to die. I know not what story they spun upon their return, but they are without honor. Not I. I even have Storm Fury. The luck. Oh, did, oh, this? And he holds it up and he unsheathes it slowly. Yeah, you do not wield it. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I have found another weapon of my own. <laughs> As I pull out the great sword. As this flame emanates mm -hmm. and lights the entire room, you hear Runa, <gasps> oh my god. And I uh, go and I hand it to my father. Feel it. He reaches out. Do you give it to him? Yes. I'm and offering. as the flame goes out, as he grasps with mm -hmm. both hands. I have been training every day, as you insisted. I have kept up. And I am stronger than ever. I am strong because of Air, I am strong because of what you had taught me. And I am strong because I have friends that will not leave in a battle. <clears throat> this is the sword of Haldor. As he hands it back. Just a mighty blade. How uh, have you been? You've been in fights since you got your armor. You've you've one well, crab fight. You yeah. were crushed by a crab. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. we did do a little crabby business there. Okay, and then uh, <laughs> okay, so, there was yeah. crabby business later when we all yeah. went. Back yeah, yeah, and yeah. Killed. Okay, okay. So it's not shiny and perfect. It's right. it's already well, seen. It's yeah. new, but it's seen battle. Already. Yeah, that's why he got okay. like the matte black. Because he didn't want some shiny, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. thing that was just going to get, you know, scuffed up anyway. So he yeah. was like, yeah, let's do this. So it, it does have some scuffs on it from that. Okay. Huh. Hmm. Your armor seems new, but used. I have not learned the lessons of Ishkil. I have kept them with me. Every day. You travel to this temple. When do you leave? Guys? And uh, the sooner the better, really. About this temple, why don't people return? It is haunted. What is that? Full of evil. Oh, we've, dealt, we've dealt with evil, right? Ghosts are real. Haunted? Um. We will rid it of this evil. Is that all that's up there? Are, are just ghosts? And orcs. Oh. Okay. We must get there safely, swiftly. Any aid 
that you could provide, or the king could provide. It can't be safe with such a stronghold of orcs so close by. You know, a, a raiding troop might be nice. I mean, at the end of it all, it's going to benefit everybody. If your whole society really honors honor, then you're going to really like why we're going, why we need to go to that cave. Temple. Temple. And if I die there, your honor remains intact. Your son died an honorable death in battle. That should please you. But that's not the goal. Right? We're going to come back and we're going to celebrate uh, being rid of haunted orc temple and no demonic god. Eh. That's, that's the goal. Plan for the worst. Hope for the best. Rest for the night or however many days you need. We are here for the temple. We will leave tomorrow. Can we... Should we scout it? Should we ask for scout support to see what's going on before we, we, we march up? It's not, it's not a cowardly thing to do or ask for. That, you know, reconnaissance is always a wise decision. And, um, you know, the more you know before going into a battle, the, the better off you're, you're, you're going to be. So, you know, that he's, is, shape, he's shaving off that naivete. Love it. It is wise <laughs> to know your battlefield. I learned that from Haldor. Please return. This is something, though, you must do on your own. And at that moment, Einar steps forward and says, No. He's got my blade. What? And Arnor also is like, yeah, 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 yeah. Mine too, mine too, mine too. I'm coming too. <laughs> you both would fight in battle with, with us? Arnor, the middle child, kind of takes a step back. But Einar, <laughs> somebody's got to stay and watch. I'll but go. Father cannot risk so many sons at once. Only the two best. Oh, the third one's Arnor's right like, there. what the fuck? Oh, it's yeah. 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 Like, oh no. Who's the third brother who is not here? That <laughs> doesn't make him. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so since we're technically brothers, I can stay, and then your your other brother can go. <laughs> and, uh, no, no. <laughs> okay, never mind. I, I didn't say you, that. You. This one, this one is probably the most formidable of you, I suspect. What? <laughs> I'm a seven, seven. Do you rage? <laughs> <laughs> you see a vein pop, but uh, it's, uh, it's uh, not uh, a rage. I think he would surprise even himself, but I agree. He cracks a, <laughs> a reluctant smile, full of fear. Yeah. Is it just a moment where you're like opening your mouth where he's just like ready to dodge a lightning bolt or something. Uh, <laughs> that's me. In the morning then. My first light. After we train, as I look over at my father. We train in the morning. That implies we drink now. Because we don't know what tomorrow holds. Can I he is correct. That's actually a, a big belief in, in, uh, in Ishkil. Ooh. Yeah, tomorrow is not promised to anyone, so live for now. Same. Uh, so there is... There is drink brought. Um, and I, food, I whispered yeah, to the king. And, <laughs> and food. Uh, I spend time telling of of the the incident of 
where I've been in my travels up to that point. I talk about getting um, the, the call from Albie Parker, um, the tutor that he hired. And I, do, you, uh, do you mention that Albie is a spy? Um, <laughs> oh, no. A half elf spy. You have a or negative a, a intelligence. Elf. This yeah. wouldn't be intelligence, though. This would be wisdom. Oh, well, it's not. Nice. Yes. Regardless. All right. Yes, I do. <laughs> and then he turned out to be this great spy for for Port Thoria. Uh, uh, fuck it. And he was recruiting us, and we were the master baiters. That's right. They put us as bait three times. And then a couple times when we and agreed counting. to it. Yeah. He's not wrong. But we gotta we gotta teach him how to read. It's taken too long. We should all teach him how to read, really. At least read the room. It, uh, <laughs> 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 I like that. Just, just then a caterer goes, oh, but it was. <laughs> There's no writing on the wall. I can't read it. You handsome, handsome fool. <laughs> <laughs> so there is drink. There is uh, trepidation of merriment. Mm-hmm. You know, it is so, it is a it is a traditional uh, drink before battle. Mm-hmm. Um, so it is not. It is it is uh, celebrating your current circumstance and. Uh, at the, the end of, part. <laughs> at the towards the end of the evening, um, Haldor does approach you. He's had a few. <laughs> Reaches his hand out to shake yours. Um, I extend my hand, and he grabs it. Father, come back. And he pulls you in for a hug. A tear starting to to go down. We will return. I hope, if I do, it will bring glory to your house, as well as mine. Do so. And he leaves. He's like, You got a tissue, is it? They already have a handkerchief out and hand it over. Barry's holding the fur (laughs) that you gave him. (laughs) (laughs) You you can keep that. I'll just, like, look, spread my hands over it, cast precipitation. Thanks. (laughs) I stand by it. Do we see Haldor's mother at any point? She is not here. Mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. No, I was gonna say over the course of the night, I'm following the two. Yeah, the two brothers, listening to everything they are talking. If they go out and lurk, I still don't trust them. I'm okay. so sorry. Okay. But that's, that's fair. Locks has a thing with parents. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, and I rolled. I don't know what you want me to roll, but I rolled a something plus whatever you want me to roll for it. What, what is what this is something? So well, I was gonna. Say, I was gonna think of like. St- I don't know what I would be like so, trying to as a, as a lead, I would yeah. say because Laloc wants to, especially the squirrely brother, exactly. to talk Arnor? to the Ar- Arnor. Arnor? Arnor, yeah. Arnor. Arnor. Not the solemn stoic one, but the squirrely one. And, you know, you're going to talk. talk. This, I'm not, is yeah, a, I don't talk. this is a dream come true. This is, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know, and your dreams are like, how much have you dreamed about your brother coming back? And, you know, what are your dreams now? And, you know, that kind of just trying to not feel them out, but learn about them. And in that, I assume that Locks can pull out some details that would aid him in motivate, detecting his motivation, mm-hmm. but Locke is genuinely yeah, just like trying insight. to get to know him. Insight. Okay, yeah, so. Then it would be Dirty 20. Dirty 20. Right. Um, you 
get the sense that he feels led astray by Einar. He, you, you can tell that he's super weirded out about Haldor being back. And almost more weirded out about his brother being like suddenly remorseful and, and very like, um, however, with that insight check, um, Einar, like, Einar puts Arnar in his place. Hmm. And it's like, you, you do over here, you do over here, Einar, say, we did really bad things to him. Oh, oh, all right. Okay. You can always do, I mean, you can't look at life from the perspective of, 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 of a younger self or your child. Or you, you've grown, we've all grown, and, you know, we live in the now, and, and, and now they're back, and you can build new memories and to, to erase the old ones. Because, you know, all, you have just the time together now to, to remake the things that we've, that you think you, the violations you think may have occurred. And, and everyone seems so, do you see the hug? I don't, you know, that's, that's a sign of affection and forgiveness, I would, I would think. And Haldor's um, still stunned sitting yeah. down in a chair. <laughs> But I, I don't know, you know, the traditions here, it's really weird, but I, I, I do like the weather, but it's, you know, the people, um, the horses too are kind of weird. And the, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I just, you know, want to get to know you and the family more because we're technically brothers now, but I guess to do that, I have to <laughs> stop talking. I'm sorry, what, what, what do you, what, what? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What? Are you happy your brother's back? <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. <clears throat> and he and he leans in close and he's like when he when we thought he was gone it, I didn't have to think about what we've done oh we were awful we were more than awful. Uh, you've compartmentalized it, didn't uh, associated with his presence, the the memory associated with the reality of the things you've done. That, you know, was triggered by seeing him. You thought that it was locked away. I get it, but you know now that we're all here. If there any, you know, there's no good time like the present to make amends. And I'm sure your father would agree to the same. I mean, look at the display we just saw. Of all the things I expect, I didn't expect to see a hug, but I'm always encouraged by hugs. <coughs> Do you want practice? No. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. You probably know how to do it by now. You, an yeah. adult. <laughs> yeah. I guess. You. <clears throat> kind of weird. Fair. That's fair. Uh, yeah. I. I. I guess that's a good classification. But, you know, enough about me. I'm really looking forward to, to seeing what you guys can do in battle. Because your brother has done some amazing things. I can't even remember to describe them right now. But, like, I just... <laughs> it seemed like a so dream. So many things. They all meld into one. It's, it seems almost not real. You say everything is a dream. Why? Uh, it, well, I... I practice a lot of reality when I'm dreaming. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a whole thing. Do you want to dream together? He's waiting for it. No, no, it's no, like, no. roll, 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 roll. Great. I'd say everyone rolls. Oh? I show up in Oh, this King King yeah, dream. Yeah, 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 this is yeah, great. Yeah. No, we, we'll, we'll, we'll come back oh. to that. What do, you, you, what do you mean? Do you have magic? Um, 
Well, the land gives me kind of what I need to do what I have to, but curious things do happen to me, yeah. Like, I, we teleported with this crab thing, and Haldor thought we were dead, but the, you know, we came back, and it, I don't know how I did it. I could try again. Do you want to, should I try? No, they, they don't want me to try. I'm not going to try. <laughs> Sorry. You, you, did all of you teleport? Did Haldor teleport? No, he didn't, he didn't come. Well, he teleported to Ishkiel. I went on a boat. He did. I don't know if I'm anywhere near that, so I'm just gonna shout because I imagine you said that loud. I did, yeah. That's a big step for him. By the way, where's your bathroom or a balcony? <laughs> Any points? <laughs> uh, I, I mean, so when, when you... Stand up and you say you went on a boat. Um, Arnor completely blanches. Hmm. And it's like, leans over, it's like, oh, we're the reason he's afraid of boats. Really? What? It, I, do I want to know? We put him on a canoe and then we flipped it over on him and held him down. It's really cruel. I, I know. I was in chain mail. He was an adult. This <laughs> happened last week. <laughs> <laughs> what? No. <sighs> He's, uh, oh, gosh, Arnor. No, he's uh, he's gonna get up and leave. But uh, I'm, so, I'm so, uh, and you just hear him muttering, "I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry." As he exits, brother. He seems contrite. He stop. Uh, Arnor stops at the door. We will see you at first light for training. Yes. I will see you then. <laughs> see if you can knock. The, see if you can knock the sword out of my hand, huh? <laughs> you can't use that one. <laughs> Says who? Right. <laughs> it's training swords. All right, all right. Very well. We should all get some rest. I think. First light comes very early. The walk kept the night off with your water dancing maiden. <laughs> Who? Your water, your water dancing man. Oh, they yeah. want to see the full pickle. No, 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 not the full, not the all of it. <laughs> no, just no. your part because it, it was pretty. It's actually Rune is like uh... it's actually the least <laughs> sexual part of the show. <laughs> okay. It's, it's uh, not what you think. All right, the lock walks over to find a mop and starts like uh, cleaning stuff up. He accidentally knocks over like a washing bowl. It's like oh no, <laughs> and then uh, while he's mopping like the figure gets up and taps him on the shoulder and he like mocks hmm. feigns surprise like he's doing with like nursery school kids and is doing this little dance and spins her around and then does a dip and as he goes in for a kiss the water evaporates <laughs> in his hand oh uh, lock you've done it again I, and Bravo. Very, yeah, yes, <laughs> Bravo. that's why he's from water deep <laughs> but that, that's that's like a routine like it like you've practiced that yeah, it's really good. It helped, you know, calm the children down at, at my school prior to here. And I just got used to doing it because they got used to liking to see it. Um, yeah, it just comes naturally like, I don't know, other curious things. Wow. Yeah. This is a group. Yeah. You don't even know the fourth of it. <laughs> I, I would say half, but honestly, you don't even know enough to make up a half. It's a very strange group. But powerful. Mm. <laughs> but powerful. <laughs> and you ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, uh, we are going to call, uh, we're gonna we're gonna dream maybe. So everyone, roll a d twenty. Ooh, I found a balcony. <laughs> To relieve myself off of. Oh. What? 
Oh. Hold on. What do you got? <laughs> it was close enough. <laughs> seven. Really? Seven. Yep. What? Oh, Four. is it seven? Eleven. Eleven. Uh, I got 20, 12, and 14. Six. Hold on. You've had a trio This is what I'm saying. You need to be a range. One away. There's, 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 there's one more. There's one more. should be a range. It's so, the probability of all of us hitting that number. <laughs> that's why it's fun, I guess. I mean, fun. yeah, okay, I yeah, that's true. Yeah. All right, so uh, we're going to come back after you guys take a long rest for some training and to see where we head off into the mountains. So stick around.